Well, good morning. It is Friday morning and we're coming to the end of our talk and we've been talking about how many roads lead to salvation. By now, we have discovered, if not, uh, if, if you only just tuned in, Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. And so we have discovered this, that Jesus is the way because he has become the door that has been opened for us to enter through into the presence of our Heavenly Father. Now, salvation can only be found in Jesus. So that is what we're concluding on, that that not all roads lead to uh, to, to heaven. Not all roads lead to God. The only road that leads into the presence of God is Jesus Christ, and we need to accept him as Lord and Savior of our lives. And so if you are looking to obtain salvation through doing good works, <laughs> your good works will fail you and disappoint you. Why am I saying, you see so many times, again, many people believe that if I do good works, if, 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 if my works are good and I love all people and I give to the poor and I give to those who are in need, I don't swear, I don't drink, you know, all these things will be a, a gold star uh, on my chart and this will allow me into God's presence because I'm a good person. Now, again, I said this in the beginning of my talk and I want to say it again to you that God Good people do not go to heaven. Born again people go to heaven. Those who are born of the Spirit by accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their lives. That is the only door. That is the only way into eternity. The only way to experience a relationship with God is when men come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior and boldly accept Him as Romans 10 verse 9 again, openly confessing that Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. Now listen to what Isaiah 64 verse 6 says, regarding good works he says all of us have become like one who is unclean all our right and good works are like dirty pieces of cloth <laughs> so so again he's saying man your your good works are like filthy rags in the sight of god that is exactly what he's saying he's saying this is not going to get you to heaven this is not going to get you into the presence of god you cannot just obtain or, or think by doing good works you're going to obtain salvation it doesn't work that way you see to be an overcomer in christ jesus as the devil tries to send one down the wrong path in life ephesians 5 verse 18 says be filled with holy spirit now how do i get filled with holy spirit by accepting jesus christ as lord and savior of my life because jesus said i'm going to the father and i'm going to ask father to give you Holy Spirit, to send to your Holy Spirit, who will now be your comforter, who will now be your guide, who will now be the one who all walks alongside of you, the one who will be upon you, alongside of you, and in you. And as a result of Holy Spirit filling you with, with the very presence of God, again, you will be able to enjoy the presence of God long before you even enter into eternity. Isn't that something? You know, so, so many times people think, well, the only time I'm going to get into the presence of God is when I die. No. Jesus said, I go before you to prepare a place for you in my father's house. There are many rooms, he says, and I go and prepare that place for you, that when it is completed, I will come back for you. Now, again, Jesus says, while you're waiting, I'm going to give you Holy Spirit and he's going to bring you into the presence of father. Already you can have fellowship with father. So to be filled with Holy Spirit, you need to daily surrender your life to the leading and the guidance of of Holy Spirit. You see, when you surrender your life daily to Holy Spirit, the moment temptation shows up at your front door, we call on Holy Spirit to empower us to open the door again, to, to allow Holy Spirit to lead us past and through and to resist those temptations. You see, once you put Holy Spirit in front of your life as an impact protector, it's amazing how quick the devil runs in the opposite direction because now you have the ability to resist him because Holy Spirit gives you the power to do that and by doing that you set the enemy to flight. So keep in mind that the devil 
is better at tempting than what you are at resisting. <laughs> Notice that again, Holy Spirit is needed for us to resist the onslaught of the enemy that will want to bring us into that place of temptations, again, separating us from God. The one thing the devil knows, he knows the power of Holy Spirit. So allow Holy Spirit to take the lead in your life today. Now, I trust that again, you've come to the understanding that not all roads lead to heaven. The only one who can bring us into the presence of our Heavenly Father is Jesus Christ. So make Him Lord and Savior of your life. Until next week, God bless and stay strong.